Hey there, my April 18th Aries babies. And um, I said that I was gonna in the April 15th video show this cool Ram picture, but to close out the week of Aries 3, I'll give you a close up there. And if you want to see a, uh, the description for Aries 3, it started on April 11th, so I did put it at the end of that video. The description, it'll be, the link will be, for that video will be in the description below, and then you can go forward to minute 26, and you will see the start of a week three description for Aries. And then for the power cusp, you know, April 19th through the 21st or 22nd, whenever it is, uh, I'll be doing the video separate. So, all right, and I did actually pull out your tarot card. So we're gonna be going over the Secret Language of Birthdays book. And if you would like a copy for yourself or you wanna skip ahead, the link is also in the description for this on Amazon. And uh, so we're gonna, it's two pages for each day. So we're gonna go over the long-winded uh, page. And then this is broken down into your planet, number, tarot card, health, and advice. So we will start with the first page. Uh, April 18th is the day of vigorous defense. Those born on April 18th are vigorous defenders of the faith. They are protectors not only of their own interests, but of those of the less fortunate as well. Often the causes they champion and the new ideas they seek to implement are right at the forefront of the times in which they live. Those born on this day are often known as progressive thinkers who fight for their beliefs. Yet they are not radicals at heart. They are traditionalists who wish to apply their experience and thorough knowledge of what has gone before the present situation. April 18th people are aware of their appearance and their public image. How others see them in daily life is very important to them. Consequently, they will rarely if ever be caught making fools of themselves in public. In like manner, they are extremely careful to present themselves to their business associates or coworkers in a sober and reasonable light. It is also important to them that their families not only love them, but respect them as well. All April 18th people carry a certain nobility about them. If this aura of nobility and honor is in any way besmirched, they will suffer very deeply and will stop at nothing to put it right. However, during the period of suffering, they may get quite deeply depressed and it can be quite some time before they have regained the energy and composure needed to take action. Those born on this day have a strong, oh, oh yeah. Those born on this day have a strong sense of loyalty, and their defensive instincts extend not only to friends and family, to, but to professional colleagues or clients as well. They should be aware of making enemies in this way, and sometimes must allow others to fight their own battles. April 18 people often have an extremely deep and complex bond with one of their parents, usually a boy with his mother or a girl with her father. They may indeed depend very heavily on the moral support and approval of this parent. It is on the basis of this very important bond that the child will form his or her ideas of morality as well as how to behave in society while growing up. It is therefore of the greatest importance that problems, for it is often a difficult and stormy relationship with this parent, be worked out by adolescents or that those born on this day can get on with their um, so that those born on this day can get on with their lives and not get stuck psychologically. A crucial area of growth for April 18 people lies in fully unlocking intimate affection and love. Ah, okay. Um, I don't know if you can hear that motorcycle, but okay. If love is bottled up, an embittered personality may result that will always feel a victim of the blows of the world. If, on the other hand, love and affection are free-flowing, there is no limit to the positive energy April 18th people can bestow on those around them. Okay, and so here is your planet and number. Your number is nine. So those born on the 18th month, 18th of the month are ruled by the number nine. Eight plus one equals nine. And by the forceful planet Mars. Since the sign of Aries is also ruled by Mars, April 18th people have to be aware of their aggressiveness getting the better of them. And since Coraline can make enemies, they should avoid conflict when possible. In addition, the excess Martian energy of those born on this day means that they may be apt to lead themselves and their companions off in a wrong direction. Uh, perhaps they can somehow keep a handle on impulsive urges, yet find healthy outlets for their considerable energies. You know, like physical activity is probably really good for you because Mars is a planet of action or even planning and doing things. Um, planning is a little more Mercury, but you can really execute plans well. All right, and your tarot card is the moon. Ah, the moon. 
The 18th card of the Major Arcana is the Moon, which primarily resembles represents the world of dreams, emotions, and the unconscious. The moon is traditionally the symbol of feminine forces as well as of emotions. Positive attributes include sensitivity, empathy, and emotional understanding. Negative qualities include emotional malleability, passivity, and lack of ego. The highly imaginative influences of the moon can create illusions and set all kinds of traps, ambushes, and deceptions for those born on April 18th. So, especially, like, I would have thought you guys were ruled by, like, Neptune uh, or even the moon because your card is the moon. Normally in the traditional deck, this is a Piscean card, uh, even though in astrology, the moon is the ruler of Cancer. So, it's a very complex card. It has a lot of uh, symbolism to it. Um, and so, it's very interesting that you would be double Mars ruled for Aries and your day and then have the moon as your tarot card. Um you know, you might be extremely sensitive to your impulses and learning to, you know, be discerning is you, you could really go far with what you take action on. Like you have a lot of endurance, strength, stamina, um, but you just have to keep your emotional balance, especially when it comes to those impulses, you know, because it's like you might feel like you you should follow your impulses or intuition especially the moon deals with intuition and then come to find like that you went too far in the wrong direction and have to hone it back so i think making those mistakes a few times in life you'll really learn like which paths are what impulses are um genuine and which ones are misleading okay so health, mental balance should be of the mo utmost concern to April 18th people. Since their strengths lie in the areas, uh, the areas of forcefulness, will, and imagination rather than reason, their willingness to submit to a rigorous mental training of some kind is essential. In order to keep in good health, those born on this day would do well to order and structure their lives so that energy can be put to use constructively rather than dissipating it in idle pursuits and wasted energies. Basically what I just said, you know, learning which impulse is gonna take you down a path that it's not going to waste your energy. All right, um, in the same way that regular work habits and exercise patterns can structure the will and imagination of April 18th people, so can regular meals of a well-balanced -bal nature produce beneficial effects. If the wilder energies of April 18th people are not channeled, they can lead to fights and accidents at particular risk are the head and the face. Moderate exercise on a fixed schedule will do wonders to keep those um, born on this day relaxed and that will help you dissipate some of your mental energy as well. All right, advice. Don't be too defensive or eager to sort things out. Allow yourself to be more trusting and relaxed. Be as accepting of others as possible and if they don't bother you, just let them be. Keep a lid on your anger and your meditation is never take anything too seriously. And so we have a couple strengths and weaknesses here. Just, just a couple. Uh, strengths are you are honorable, vigorous, and fair. And your weaknesses are unrealistic, pugnacious, emotionally unstable. And some of the well-known people, this book is a little bit old, heads up if you haven't watched the other birthday videos. So um, they have to be pretty, pretty well-known to be in here and have to be a little bit old school. Uh, I think I'm gonna do part two's next go around next year in 2022 and like pull up the more current celebrities and maybe elaborate. And there's another birthday book too that I might get, so I might read that. Um, so yeah, anyways, so for now, we're just gonna go over this book and it says, Born on This Day, Tadeusz Maza Mazowacki, Polish Prime Minister, Lawyer, Journalist, Solidarity Leader, Clarence Darrow, lawyer, Scopes Trial Defense Attorney, uh, Leopard, oh, sorry, Leopold Stokowski, Conductor, Queen Frederica, Greek Monarch, Mildred Bailey, U.S. Army Brigadier General, Women's Army Corps Head, uh, George Hitchens, U.S. Nobel Prize winning biochemist, chemotherapy, uh, Dito Desio, Italian geologist, explorer, first to climb K2 world's second highest peak. Uh, that's pretty impressive. And what a ram, you know. Uh, we beat the goats. We beat the Capricorns on that one. <laughs> okay. Um, James Woods, film actor. I just want to uh, note really quick. I did mention this, but um, a good friend of mine was a w well known, world renowned mountain climber, and he actually passed away um, on April 16th. Uh, in 
2019. I believe it's been two years now. And uh, and he has an air. He's a Cancer, but he has an Aries Moon. So so it makes sense. You know, gotta have that Aries influence to be a good climber. All right. Um, James Woods, film actor. We all know who that is. Eric Roberts, film actor. That's Julia Roberts' brother. In case you didn't know. Um, Miklos Rose. Raza, Hungarian born film composer, Robert Hook, stage TV film actor, uh, Huntington Hartford, financier, art patron, and Pierre, Joseph Goldstein, U.S. Nobel Prize winning molecular geneticist, Giuseppe Pella, or Pella, Italian economist, ec economist, economist, econ economist uh, Ludwig Meidner German expressionist realist painter Max Weber expressionist cubist painter oh I, I wrote a, a article on art once about uh, cubist cubism and stuff so I think I remember Max Weber being in that anyway little brother Montgomery blues pianist singer uh, Haley Mills film actress Henry Hyde, U.S. Congressman, Illinois, Malcolm Marshall, Barbadian cricket fast bowler. And of course, Henry Hyde is not still the U.S. Congressman of Illinois, Congressman, Congressman of Illinois, I believe, you know, like I said. Uh, this says it was published in 2013, but I was reading it back in like 2004, 2003, so it might be even older than that. Yeah, when I look, let's double check this again. It's interesting it's by Gold Snyder too. Gold is very significant. I'm learning more and more as I go through my alchemist uh, awakening of the soul journey. Yeah, it says, oh, copyright. Oh, here we go. You just gotta look down a little further. It was 1994. So this book is almost 30 years old. All right, so uh, I'm sending you lots of love and light, and be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna see um, when your significant other or close family and friends birthday comes out, or if you're cross watching now and you're excited to see your birthday video, and leave me any suggestions in the comments. Also, I'm doing a celebrity synastry video where I go over all the synastry aspects between cu well-known couples, so you kinda of have the background information and can learn uh, how to really run compatibility very accurately in astrology for yourself. And I'm doing the big 144 series where I cover all the sun, moon, and rising combinations. There's 1,728. And um, so, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see when your sun and moon comes out. I already did Aries, sun, Aries, moon. So if you're one of those, go ahead and check it out. And I'll be doing Aries, sun, Taurus, moon, hopefully in the near future. And... Uh, yeah, because not every Aries born on April 18th is going to have the same uh, moon and rising sign. So sending you lots of love, blessings, and light. Thank you.